I like um, the fact that there can be bits of nuggets of information out there that can um, wildly change people's view on the direction of the market. Uh, so you can have news coming over the wires, particularly topically this week, we had uh, news uh, which came over Bloomberg that was an East EU source suggested that the ECB were going to instigate negative deposit rates uh, for banks. And of course, we saw the euro drop like a, a proverbial stone against the US dollar on this news and ultimately stopped me out of my long euro dollar trade. So we're talking about profound effects. And yet we had them yesterday, Mario Draghi, stating that they were not discussing negative uh, interest rates. So we've seen the euro actually bounce back through the 135 level against the EU. US dollar, albeit that it hasn't actually retaken the initial stage that it was at when it fell back from those highs. Uh, so it's the, the drama and the, the bits of information and of course the diverging views you have between different traders as to where the overall direction of the market is that I enjoy. I enjoy the, the debate, I enjoy the trades and I enjoy the opportunities that come as a result. I don't enjoy the losses uh, if and when they come but I take them for what they are. Uh, in the expectation that the next trade I do will have a better outcome. Five minute charts. <laughs> I think uh, anything lower than that is uh, just a little bit ridiculous. I mean, I know people who do trade quite well from those, but they have time and the energy, presumably, uh, to sit and watch the charts. Um, every second of the day I don't have time for that uh, and I found that to my detriment um, and obviously taking too large a position uh, it's quite a different story trading uh, with a bank's money rather than your own money and uh, it does t put a, an extra facet of emotion into it so uh, you're you're more inclined to get upset about a losing trade when it's your own money uh, so the short-term charts were probably the biggest, the silliest thing I ever did, and trading currencies that I really didn't have any business in trading, uh, such as some of the exotics, which have very low liquidity, have huge spikes in the markets, and are subject to uh, some wild swings on the basis of, I suppose, um, governments in those particular companies and or in those particular countries and political upheavals really sort of upsetting the supposed trend that I thought I was following. Uh, so I tend to stick to what I know now. And um, while I don't always make every trade a successful one, uh, I do, generally speaking, have um, a fairly successful turn on it. In a good way, um, there was the death cross on gold, uh, which um, made, you know, when the word death cross comes out, the media do seem to cling to it. It does sound quite uh, dramatic. And uh, once gold saw that, which is basically the 50-day uh, moving average moving from above the 200-day moving average, uh, we have never seen gold trade higher since then. So uh, from a, a back test point of view, the short trade I did on that, I am out of it now, unfortunately, uh, was uh, profoundly, uh, maybe profoundly happy, I suppose. That's probably what I'd like to say. <laughs>